Hello and welcome to the third episode in my Painting Horus Heresy series. In this episode I'm going to be showing you how to paint the glorious, sorry, traitorous Sons of Horus. So first up we've primed the model in Vallejo Model Air IJN Deep Dark Green. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take light green RML25, again from the Model Air range, and we're going to spray this uh, from above the model down onto the model just to give it this two-tone effect with the, uh, the sea green colours here. Next we're going to paint all the metal sections of the model with Citadel Lead Belcher. And then we're going to take snakebite leather contrast paint. I'm going to paint this over the shoulder pads and maybe pick out a few details that we want to be in this bronze color. It's going to change the lead belcher to like a, a bronzy color. Then we're going to paint the gun casing and any armor seals in black. Now let's try for transfers. So we're going to use micro sets to apply the transfers onto the model and smooth those over. Then we can use Microsol to soften them up and make them stick to the model better. At this point, we've got all the base colors and the transfers on the model. So the next thing we're going to do now is give the whole model a coat with Vallejo Matte Varnish. After that, it's time for the grime. So give the model a coat with Streaking Grime. You can use a brush at this point if you want to, it's not an issue, it goes on exactly the same. Then we're going to reduce the streaking grime with some enamel thinners on a cotton bud. And then mop up any excess grime that we've got floating around with the dry side of a cotton bud. Now to add some extra grime, we're going to use dark streaking grime from MIG. We're going to paint this mainly onto the um, the brass coppery areas, um, maybe put some splashes onto different sections of the armour, just to give some different tones to the grime across the model. If we go too hard, we can use a cotton bud just to clean up any excess. I'm going to add some rust to the model now. So we're using dark rust deposits from AK Interactive and we're just putting these onto mainly the metal areas but maybe a couple of drops here and there onto the sea green armour. Adding some extra tones into the rust, we're going to take Troll Slayer Orange. This is a little bit watered down and we're going to apply that onto the top of where we've just applied the rust whilst it's still wet so that it beads up into small little dots here and there. Next up, we've taken some watered down Nihilac Oxide and we're going to paint this over the coppery areas of the armour to create some verdigris. Now we're going to use Dirty Down Rust. So what I've done, I've given the model a blast with a hot hairdryer, which has heated the model up a bit, and really shaken the Dirty Down Rust. And all we do is we apply it in different thicknesses over different areas of the model where you'd expect grime to accumulate. So places like corners of where the armor meets different joints, down in little places where it might streak. And we leave it and as it dries, it changes color. Onto the eye lenses, we're going to start by painting the whole lens in corn red. Sorry about the focus on this shot. Then we're going to paint most of the bottom half of the eye lens with Mephiston red. And then we're going to paint the lower sort of third of the eye lens with Evilson Scarlet. Then we take Troll Slayer Orange and create just a line across the bottom of that lens, like a crescent line underneath it. Don't know how to describe it, but you can see what I'm doing here in the video. Then Aerial Yellow, and we're just going to create a small line within that Troll Slayer Orange line. And finally, put a dot of white in the back corner of the islands to create a little bit of a shine. For the base, I'm using my usual muddy base recipe. So we use thick European mud from Vallejo. European thick mud. I get it wrong every single time. And 
and then we're going to add some little scale model bricks and some scale model barbed wire. Give the bricks a little dab with dark streaking grime, the barbed wire a dab with some of the dark rust deposits, and then spatter the home base with dark streaking grime, followed up with Kursk soil. Those two are both by MIG. Last couple of things, clean up the rim of the base using some enamel thinner and a cotton bud. And once that's dry, paint the rim of the base black. There we have it. It's our Sons of Horus, a very grimy, rusty marine. As I said, this is the third in the series. Uh, the next one we're going to do is Imperial Fists. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps and it means a lot to me. Uh, I've put some affiliate links in the description below. So if you want to see the products that I've used in this video, you can find some links to them there. Um, thank you very much for watching, everyone. See you next time. Bye.